The wildest places on our planet have always been home to powerful leaders. But now, a new hero is rising. Guess who is the Fierce. Guess who is the Smart. Guess who is the Resilient. And female. We don't call her Mother Nature for nothing. All hail the Queen. The Ngorongoro Crater, Tanzania. The unbroken rim of a massive, ancient volcano. Its lush crater floor is surrounded by steep 2,000 foot high walls. In this giant stadium, two rival dynasties, both led by sisters, fight for the survival of their families. This area is home to the highest density of lions on the planet. Oh, there are some impressive males here. But they come, and they go. It's the prides that rule the crater. And by the prides, I mean the girls. Three sisters. Just weeks ago, they left their mother to go it alone. And already, they're killing it. The eldest, Shawnee, is pregnant. The father didn't stick around, but that's not unusual for lions. This sisterhood can look after themselves. Crucial, because they have enemies. Malkia. Hyena Queen. Her clan is everything the Lion Pride is not. Well established, 70 strong, the largest in the crater. In Hyena Dynasties, females are in charge. It's not the largest or strongest, but the one with the most allies that takes the crown. Malkia's been popular, but she's aging. Another hyena could rise to take her place. <laughs> In the heart of their territory is the den site. Full of cubs. Though they're not all Malkias.
Males will eventually leave the clan to find mates. But daughters stay. They become a leader's key allies. Malkias had many sons. But only two daughters. A three-week-old Zura and her big sister, Yene. The two most important hyenas after their mother, the queen. In hyena society, it's the youngest daughter that inherits the crown. But Zura's too young. And that leaves an opening for Aisha, Malkia's younger sister. Family loyalty is no match for Aisha's personal ambition. As Malkia's position weakens, Aisha and her daughters are gaining support. She has her sister's crown in her sights. Both the hyenas and the lions want the same thing. Food, territory, power. But the crater affords one more luxury, safety. Its walls are a barrier from the world outside. But space is limited. Over 20,000 large animals pack the crater floor. The two dynasties are forced to compete for food. Lions are the main cause of hyena deaths here. Nalgia's clan has made a kill. Now that Shani's pregnant, the lions need an easy meal. Malkia is distracted. <laughs> it's Aisha that faces the pride. She could have been killed. But it was worth it. To fight a lion and survive is the ultimate show of strength. And the whole clan was there to see it. has ever filmed through the night here. But as the moon rises over the crater rim, special light-sensitive cameras can film in color.
revealing the two families in their nighttime world. The lions are resting. They prefer a moonless night to hunt. Hyenas, however, are bolder after dark. Noisier. More aggressive. Aisha? She's dangerous. Malkia's allies have gone out hunting. She's unguarded. Too good an opportunity to miss. Uh. Yeye -ye comes to her mother's side uh. as Aisha makes her move. Together, they push Aisha away. While Malkia has daughters, she still has power. She heads out to join the hunt. The sun takes time to rise above the crater walls. Mornings are relaxed. But Johnny can't take it easy. She's a mom now. Five cubs to grow and strengthen the new pride. Half the world's lions have been lost in the last 25 years. But these newborns are protected within the crater. Malki has left her daughters at the den site while she hunts. Yeye keeps her little sister Zora close. She lets a female pay her respects. Then sends her away. Aisha's not gone hunting. She stayed behind to help babysit. Only Malkia's daughter stand between her and the crown. Yeye senses danger. <laughs> Go! 
She tries to push Aisha away. Protect little Zora. But Aisha's not after Yehi. She wants the air. There are very few things a hyena won't do for power. On her own, Yeye can't help Zura. She needs the clan. But they're all waiting to see what Aisha will do. Yeye can only watch as the life is squeezed out of her little sister. Aisha's not above murder to get what she wants. The hunting party's back. Led by Malkia. The rest of the clan don't run to greet her. Something's not right. Ooh. Malkia searches for her cub. There's blood on the ground. Yeye is here. But Zora is dead. Her mother knows there can be only one culprit. Aisha. Malkia and her remaining supporters charge. But Aisha and her daughter stand their ground. The play for the crown was violent. But the transfer of power is peaceful. Malkia and her remaining allies bow in submission and retreat. Aisha's the new leader. Her victory run shows the clan which sisters in charge now.
Ye Ye calls for her mother. They were separated after the takeover. Malkia doesn't hear her. Having lost her cub, she's taken off alone. Sisterhood works together to keep Shawnee's cubs alive. While she's nursing, they make a kill every day. Aisha's clan is never far away. So the lions share the job of hunting, and protecting their kills. Keeping the hyenas away from their food and cubs. Shawnee's never needed her sisters more. With their help, these cubs are twice as likely to survive as those born to a mom on her own. Back at the din site, Aisha is asserting her leadership. The rest of the clan are finding their place beneath her. To cement her power, Aisha needs more daughters. So she's looking to mate, and for hyenas, that's an unusual challenge. The female sex organ is remarkable. Completely unique in nature. and it gives Aisha an advantage. This male has been following her, hoping to mate. But unlike males of most other species, he can't force himself on her. He has to wait. Only when she's ready will she retract her sex organ, allowing him to mate. The need for consent is what makes hyena society so special. It hands control over to the females, gives them immense power. There's no moon tonight. Thermal cameras find body heat, white in the cold black. 
revealing a strange world of crater animals. Most still awake. It's not safe to sleep when you can't see who might be coming for you. Aisha is on the prowl. Hyena night vision is excellent. She can walk right through the herds unseen. Hyenas don't choose leaders for their hunting prowess. But it can't hurt to show them what she can do. A wildebeest will feed the whole clan. But the pride has heard them. The sisters are betting on an easy win. Under Aisha, the clan is united. Now, the lions have an even bigger problem. There are five dominant males that live inside the crater. But he's not one of them. An outsider. He's come to mate and will kill young cubs to make room for his own. <coughs> the sisters could stay silent and hide. <coughs> Together is a show of strength. They want to deter him. But they may have led him straight to the den. Aisha will never worry about the threat of a male. Any outsider hoping to join her clan automatically takes the lowest rank. She's clearly enjoying the greatest perk of being queen. More food. They're all content.
On her own, Ye Ye is extremely vulnerable. She can't even get respect from a jackal half her size. But she won't be pushed around. Her mother raised her to look after herself. Everywhere she looks, there's food. Yeye's never hunted without her clan before. But that doesn't stop her from trying. If she doesn't learn soon, she'll starve. Johnny is also desperately hungry. The lone male has been outside the den for days, hoping to starve her out and get to the cubs. But he's got to get past her sisters first, and they have a plan. They lure the male away from the den. They flirt with him. creating a distraction so Shani can move her five cubs. She can only carry one tiny cub at a time, leaving the rest unguarded. The male is focused on her sisters. Until the cubs call for their mother. And he's reminded of what he came for. Johnny's only taken one cub away. And she hears the other four cry out. Johnny drives him out of the den, where her sisters are waiting. <laughs> to 
together they force him away. <laughs> but in the den, the damage is done. Pride fought the outsider with all they had. <laughs> and they saved. But the fight's not over. The male is still in their territory, and he will keep trying until all the cubs are dead. Shawnee has one last card to play. While she's nursing, she's not fertile. But that doesn't mean she can't fake it. Mate with the killer of her cub might seem unthinkable, but she's done it to protect the survivors. Mating with males can make them believe any young cubs are theirs. He might now let Shawnees live. While Shani makes a last stand for her family, Ye Ye needs to find a way to survive on her own. Hyenas can eat 30 pounds a day, and although they have a reputation as scavengers, they can't survive on just scraps. A buffalo is looking pretty good right now. But for a hyena who's never hunted on her own before, no chance. Ye Ye may be young, but she knows an opportunity when she sees it. The wildebeest herd is protecting small calves. If she can separate one, she might stand a chance. Now, 
or never. Without the tactical support of the clan, Chaos is her friend. It's a huge win for Ye Ye. She needs to eat fast before she's discovered by the pride. But the sisters have their own concerns. The male is still with them. But so are the cubs. Shawnee successfully convinced the male they're his. He may even stick around to protect them. Thanks to Shawnee, the pride is safe for now. Ye Ye's found the strength and skill to fend for herself. But she's born to be in a clan. There's a hyena in the distance. Another female, bigger than her. She should run. And yet, there's something about this hyena. She'd know her anywhere. It's her mom, Malkia. Maybe I should run. I don't need you now, I'm on my own. But if I run, turn away from all I've known. Maybe I should run. Two outcasts back together. So we should run. Malkia is old. She and Ye Ye won't survive alone. Malkia must lead Ye Ye to Aisha's clan. Take the chance that she'll have them back. They find some of the clan at the lake edge. Aisha, and a few old allies. It's the perfect moment for Ye Ye and her mom to try to rejoin them. 
Because water does strange things to hyenas. It seems to wash the hierarchy away. Yeah, yeah, makes the first move. <laughs> Accept it without hesitation. Malkia won't live long enough to test her sister Aisha's leadership. But Yeye? She looks like a future leader. She just needs to bide her time. It's quiet in the crater. The males moved on, and the pride is focused on the cubs. All's calm. Except Shawnee's sister is now pregnant. The pride will grow again. Ye Ye is back with the clan, making her own and those walls still tower around them, protecting and constraining them. Peaceful now? Sure. Lasting peace? Don't hold your breath. 